I'm here. Welcome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Can everybody hear me very clearly? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. I can hear you. Leona, is that you? Is that Leona's voice? That sounds like Leona. Let's go to Genesis 17, verse 3. I want to thank you so much, family. Thank you so much for coming out tonight to share in this live um, event, this live program of our mission work. I am the Most Reverend Dikai Mary, and I'm so happy that you've been following us on, on WhatsApp, on Pinterest, on Tambi, on YouTube, on Facebook, and on Twitter, etc. And also on LinkedIn. I want you to tell your friends to, to like us at Idikai Mary Mission. So if you go to Facebook, just go to Idikai Mary Mission and like mm -hmm. us there. I really, really appreciate it. Let's go to Genesis chapter 17, verse 3. Then Abram fell on his face, sign of honor, sign of showing honor to God. It's a sign of showing that the God who is speaking to you, you value him and you value what he is saying. You believe it. You acknowledge it. It becomes a fact. It's a it's a it's a factual thing. It's very it's a verified thing. See, when God speaks to you, it becomes verified. Automatically, you don't need to go and check it out. It's on. He, he fell on his face, which means he he. He knelt on the ground, or he lay on the ground and bowed his face to the ground. Like saying, I yield to you. I yield. Because when God speaks to you, it is sealed. It's going to happen, or it begins to happen on the spot. So Abraham fell on his face. And God said to him, the, the level, the level of receiving has to do with the level of acknowledging and appreciation. Acknowledging, appreciation, and expectation. Write those three things down. If you have your notebook. Acknowledge, appreciate, and expectation. That's the meaning of worship. Because that's what Abraham was doing. He fell on his face. Worship. Worship means the totality of acknowledgement, appreciation, an expectation. Yes. That's what it's all about. Then, and God said to him, see, he kept talking. God said to him, now we are in verse 4. As for me, this is my covenant with you. Okay. Okay. You shall be, listen to this, you shall be the ancestor, look at that, you shall be the ancestor of a multitude of nations. Remember in Genesis 12, verse 1, God went straight into business. And that is what God does. 
he goes straight to business. He doesn't have time to fool around. Mm -hmm. he, his world is so creative that he doesn't waste it. Stop wasting your words and your time mm -hmm. with people who are not worth it. You must value your word because it's creative word. Mm -hmm. Family, listen to this. The covenant that I'm making with you. You see, God is taking it personal here in verse 4. As for me, you see, a covenant is a personal thing. God is saying, I am now trusting you with the history of the world. I'm trusting you with my agenda. That's what God is saying. The covenant I'm making with you is that you are going to be the ancestor of multitude of nations. Genesis 12 verse 1. The same thing. I will make of thee a great nation. And here he's saying ancestor of a multitude of nations. You need to, in fact, let me tell you, worship should not be where you come to get nothing. Worship should be where you come to settle your future. To know the outcome of yeah. how the future of you and your children and your children's children up to many billions of years to come, if Jesus tarries, you need to be aware of it. You don't need to gaze. You do not need to gaze. How is my future going to look like? How is the future of my children going to look like? God wants to sort this out for you, settle it for you. That's what God want to do. He want to sort it out for you, settle it for you. You know the reason? Because God wants you to focus on the assignment of becoming ancestor of a multitude of nations, which means when God reveal, you enter into that revelation immediately. <laughs> so your job is your job is to enter into revelation and start work because you see a covenant is a job. Something is revealed, then you go into it. You begin to practice what is revealed about you. That's what it is. You are to be ancestor of a multitude of nations. Is sealed, signed, sealed, deliver. This is what I want to share with you tonight. God has anointed you. So you're listening to me right now. God has anointed you. You have been anointed right now. Amen. To become, you see, when you begin to roll with God, to associate with God, and when God begins to trust human history in your hands, because that's what he's doing with Abraham. I'm trusting the history of humans in your hand. I'm putting it in your hand. I'm trusting my agenda, my own personal assignment, what I want to accomplish among humans. I'm putting it in your hand. And that is exactly what happened to you when you become born again, when you become spirit-filled, when you say to Jesus, you are my redeemer, you are the one that washes away all my sins, you are the one who writes my name in the book of life, I am now following you, you are my new God, you are my new king, you are my brother, you are my all. That's what you are, that's what you are doing. With what happened there is this. Jesus began to look at you to find out the rest of the things about how your mind and your spirit works. What kind of spirit are you? How do your mind works? Are you someone who can be trusted with power and money and nations? Let me break it down to you very simply. Your relationship with God the Father and Jesus and the Holy Spirit the angels and the saints. 
is broken down in a simplified way. And this is what it is. Your assignment on earth is not local anymore. Please listen carefully. Your assignment on earth is not a local assignment. Local assignment is for local champions. You are not a local champion. You came for something that, see, the history of the world is in your hand now. How this world will turn around is in your hand. <laughs> God talks about that. This is the year of promotion. Special, spectacular, exceedingly great, mighty promotion. It is in your hand. The world will never see that promotion except through you. And it is not local. It is international. It's global. What is your assignment? Your assignment is a job. Your assignment is the creation of a service, services or product. Or your assignment is selling, S-E-L-L-I-N-G. That is, you, you, you sell yourself, your, 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 your influence, you become an influence person. So either your assignment is an idea, a good idea that you are selling or a product or a service or all of it. That's what it is. And it is not to service, your job is not to service a little area of the world. You are to service the entire nations of the world. You see like Coca-Cola, is already in this. You see? Because you are not, right now, I cannot see any of you going to populate the entire world with human beings. It's impossible for, for one person to do. <laughs> yeah, you cannot. So, so, even Abraham couldn't do it. Abraham was only able to have eight children. Some of you have one, two. Some of you don't have. So how do you enter into this? How do you become this? Ancestor of multitude of nations. How do you become an ancestor? Tonight, God is making you an ancestor. Listen very carefully to what I'm about to tell you. Amen. So that evil ancestors in your families cannot come back to look for you and to destroy you because now you are occupying the seat of an ancestor from the side of God. Amen. Therefore, ancestors from the side of the devil in your family, when they come to look for you, even if they know your name, you are in their bloodline. When they come, they realize that there is also another bloodline that is running in you that has overpowered their own bloodline. So they back off. Because many of you are still being visited. Yeah, many of you are still being visited by dead people. Whether while you are sleeping or while you are awake. That I know for sure. But it has to stop. How will it stop? Because from tonight, you yourself will become an ancestor. Amen. So if Amen. any other ancestor is coming from the land of the dead or from ancestral spirits of darkness, they now realize that you yourself, you are an ancestor. And an ancestor cannot attack an ancestor. Are you getting it? So you are now an ancestor. Listen, he says, you will become an ancestor of multitude of nations. So now you are an ancestor. Therefore, if other ancestors are coming after you, they realize that now you are an ancestor. They are like, ah! He's like, he's bigger than us. What kind of ancestor? How did he become an ancestor? And they say, it's because of his God who is now an ancestor. So this other God, they say, we don't want no trouble with him. Let's get away from here. Let him carry out his assignment. That's what has happened. <laughs> That's just the way it is. Yeah. And not only that, you are now going to be the ancestor of all these other ancestors. 
Are you getting what I'm saying? You are now an ancestor of all these other ancestors. They are now under you. They are now under you because when a greater and a bigger ancestor shows up, all the small ancestors will all shut up and run off. They will shut off and back off and run off. So from tonight, you are going to tell God, make me an ancestor. I want to occupy the seat of an ancestor so that I can influence the I can influence nations so that I can populate nation. So from now on, he said I will make you exceedingly numerous. You are going to populate, you are going to mount on nations. So instead of mounting on women or mounting on men for sex, you are going to mount them for business. <laughs> are you getting what I'm saying? You are not going to fertilize to bring out human beings. Unless that's what you want to do. Not me. You are going to fertilize nations. Through you, fertilization, multiplication will happen. And it will reach all nations who will hear your name. Like they have every... Is there anybody in the world that does not know anything about Coca-Cola or Fanta? Or Pepsi? Or Pizza? Or Burger? Is there anybody who doesn't know? Tell me. Is there anyone who doesn't know about Toyota? At least Toyota and Mazda, Mercedes Benz, BMW, be my wife. Okay? Who doesn't know who doesn't know jeans? Ameri Americans are known by jeans and tennis shoes. Canvas shoes. Who doesn't who doesn't have it? So successfully. Certain people have put, have become ancestors of nations by populating the world with their product. I told God as I was coming to this service, I said to him, <laughs> I am going to fight my way, think my way, intelligence my way sense my way pray my way negotiate my way in order to become ancestors of a multitude of nations through what I'm doing which means after you are gone of course you don't leave because your influence remain you can always be coming back we are not talking about reincarnation here after all Moses and Elijah came to visit Jesus. You will always be protecting. You will always be protecting. What. You will always be protecting. What belongs to you. That's why. What belongs to Jesus. Is being protected by who? By the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is here to protect. What belongs to Jesus. So listen to me very carefully. God is calling you to an assignment that is global. Tonight, I'm asking you to put aside, set aside, set aside money. Should be $100 from $100 to $500 to a $1,000 seed. You are to set aside money. Send that money to me, send that money to a ministry. A mission right away. Rosalyn, I'm going to be calling you tonight. I don't know whether she's there. Rosalyn, are you there, my lady? Where's Rosalyn? Okay. I'm going to be calling you tonight because there is something we'll be doing from now on. When you send any gift, whether it be material or whether it be financial to aid army, or to the mission. Uh, if you plant money for investment, I will call you right away, the same day. And I'm going to ask you to tell me to attach intention, expectation, appreciation, acknowledgement to it. I will come to the altar and I'll lay my hand on it. I'll print it out. If you send it through Zelle or Cash App, or you send it as money order, or you send it as a, as a check, or you send physical cash, or it came through MoneyGram. We don't do Western Union. It comes as MoneyGram. I'll print it out, or I'll bring it to the altar, 
and I will call you and put you on the phone or I'll put you on WhatsApp or put you on uh, Duo and then we'll talk or Facebook and then there you will tell me one-on-one -on -one, that's where I act I act in the priesthood of Jesus that's where I act and then you will tell me your intention toward what you've said. From now on, that's how we'll be doing it. And you must receive what you're expecting. What you attach to your seed must be received. As I was doing the cover pictures for the Facebook, I have come to realize that titers, those who tithe, are the greatest friends of God Almighty. Those who died in our mission are the greatest friends of God Almighty. They are the ones that God loves so much. Those who sowed big seed, like a thousand dollar seed, to keep our mission going, they are at a different level with God. Because they are at the top of evangelization they keep they keep the kingdom of god on the road moving so i want to make sure that every money you sow into the kingdom of god through us must be highly compensated and mightily rewarded from today nothing is for nothing nothing goes for nothing no more no more you will never sow any seed you will never sow any seed of money or material resources to me or to our mission or to our business that you will not receive the intended result. That's why we call it intention. What is the intention? So I'm asking you tonight to make sure that you release a seed right away tonight. Plant a seed. Plant a seed immediately. If you do not know how to plant a seed, call Victoria. I don't know whether Victoria is there. Call her phone. Call the, call the organization phone number. Yeah. Victoria, give them that number. You can call that number and ask Vicky to do PayPal if you want to do PayPal. Or you want to do Zelle. She will show you how to do Zelle or Cash App. She will. You can call her. Go and plant something. Go and plant something. So that you can, because money, money is a connection. Money, money, you use money to knock on the door. I'm serious. You use money to knock on the door. Money opens doors. Money opens doors. Mary, I will be calling you. Samantha, I will be calling you. Yeah, I will be calling you. All, all these people are mentioning, Vivian, I will be calling you. Yeah. Okay. Nancy, I'll be calling you. Segi, where are you? I'll be calling you. Ozo, I'll be calling you. So I have a lot of people that I'm going to call. Some tonight, some tomorrow. I'm going to be very busy. Because your seed must, must, must germinate, must produce result. You cannot follow Jesus for, for free, for nothing. I don't want you to, to, to do the religion of our fathers whereby they didn't expect anything. Therefore, they didn't get anything. No, we are not going to practice that. Because I want, in the next one month, I want to see people driving their brand new Mercedes Benz, debt free. I want to see new houses, debt free. The house where I live is debt free. That's what I want. I want to see new jobs. Personally, there is a car I'm expecting to come. I'm expecting a limousine. And I'm expecting a driver. I'm expecting a jet. I'm serious. I'm expecting a jet. I'm expecting new apartment buildings. I'm expecting the business of Mary to, to just take off quick. I'm expecting the business with Vivian to take off. With Roslyn. With Victoria. I'm expecting the, 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 
the 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 vision and the business I have with Lele to just bust out and overflow. That's what I'm looking forward to. And this is no joke. And I want each of the business that I'm doing with each of you to become something that reach every nation of the world. When we start, we cannot stop. That's how it's going to be from now on. So go tonight, make sure tonight that you plant an uncommon seed like you've never planted before. Because I need, I, we use money to get money. We don't use just prayers. We use money to get money. Not only that, I am asking you tonight, when I call you, I want you to, to talk to me about some impossible things in the, in the sight of human beings that is going to happen. Impossible things that you want. That's what I want. Shante, if you are listening to this, to this, I, I want something uncommon to happen to you. Mary, I want something uncommon to happen to you. I want, I want an uncommon house. Like the house that I'm living is a mission house. Amen. I work hard to, for, we all work hard to get this going. But my real luxury home is coming. The real luxury home is coming. Hallelujah. Because you need something quality. You need the best. Because you are serving the best God. Amen. I want another reason why God is saying that he has made him an ancestor of a multitude of nations. Is that God doesn't want your name to be forgotten. I hope you know that. God does not want your name to be, you know, like people after they served as president, if you mention their name, people start asking you, who, who was that? After a few years, or musicians or movie stars, people say, who is that? Who are, you know? No, 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 no. Your name is not going to be forgotten. Please. That's what God is saying here. Your name is going to remain forever. From generation to generation, what you did, what you established, will be there to it will continue in fact this covenant will continue to generate the product the services your idea will continue to create will continue to produce result forever Amen. that's what he's saying here Amen. Amen. don't you like this i like this i like this this is yeah i like this this is the kind of thing that I crave for. I crave for this kind of thing. I love this. Seriously, I do. Excuse me. Seriously, I do. This is the kind of thing that I enjoy. I enjoy it. I love it. I enjoy it very, very much. Yeah. And I do not want anybody to deprive me of this kind of enjoyment. Anna will say, I really want to enjoy myself. I enjoy myself in this service. You need to enjoy yourself in this world. You need to enjoy your relationship with God. Nothing is going to be a burden. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to begin to pray. Begin to pray. If you don't have money, I want you to ask God tonight. To connect you with money so that you can use money to sow your way out of poverty, sow your way out of debt, sow your way out of uh, out of uh, sickness, sow your way out of not having your own house, not having a beautiful car, not having businesses, sow your way out of out of barrenness of good things. Begin to pray. If you don't have money, tell God. That God should send you seed. Tell God to send you big seed, not small seed. I do I want you to get out of the mentality of always wanting to live a little life, always wanting something small. I want you see, he's saying, I want you to be an ancestor of a multitude of nations. This is huge. Something that is yeah, transnational. Everybody will hear about you. You become famous. Your product will be bought by everybody. That's what God is talking about here. 
begin to pray, begin to pray. And I'm going to wrap a prayer around you tonight. Begin to pray. Father, I wrap, I wrap this word. Each person, as you are listening to my voice, touch my hands. Yes, touch my hands. I make you the covenant between God and me for you is that I make you an ancestor of a multitude of nations and since the nations are already here I make you the ancestors of ideas, great ideas, breakthrough ideas. I make you the ancestors of products and services. In the name of Jesus, I give it to you. It is done. It is done. And it is done. I make you the ancestors of a bank, a new kind of banking and a bank. Buy banks buy businesses I make you the ancestors of businesses in the name of Jesus and the Lord the God Almighty has done this for you Amen and Amen I kiss my Bible Call us, call us, call us for us to do great things for you. Our office phone is 316 665 4400. Call the Archbishop's mobile phone number 316 512 6944. Go to our website and connect with us, thegaimaryministry.com. And I would like you to follow us on YouTube. You know, like us on at Idikai Mary Mission on Facebook.